Okay, start the audio sync in three, two, one. Hey guys, and welcome back to RLCraft. Um, today's. Hey guys, and welcome back to RLCraft. Um, today's episode, we're starting off a little bit abruptly because as I was out adventuring trying to get some EXP levels, like I said I was going to do off screen, we came across whatever that is. Um. I want to find out, but I don't want to find out at the same time. Let's go ahead and take this skeleton out real quick. If we're able to. No. You know what? How about we just don't? Yeah, maybe we just don't. For now. Maybe we just try to get home alive. With all of our XP. Yeah, that sounds like a reasonable idea. But anyway, how are you guys today? Um, I'm glad to be back. I'm excited for this episode. I have a lot of plans of uh, things to do this episode, actually. Um, one of them is going to be something that should help us a ton when it comes to combat um, and that is to make a uh, summoning staff actually and give that a try see what that does for us I died from hypothermia uh, or hyperthermia that's okay I'll just go ahead and sleep and then run back there and grab my stuff there's not really anything hostile around there um, starting off the episode with a death I didn't exactly plan to be oh <laughs> this here I killed a strider um, they're interesting if you get above them they actually don't fight you so that was uh, a good little trick to have found I didn't know exactly where I died so I'm just gonna run back there and grab my stuff but yeah I was looking into some of the mods and trying to figure out what exactly uh, I can manage to do with all the mods in combination with one another and I found out about the summoning staff, and uh, I don't know if you guys remember our little friend from, I believe, episode 3. What the fuck? What the fuck is that thing? But, um, we're gonna be potentially able to summon him, and that might be able to be used for our own benefit. For, like, huge benefits. So that would be nice if that's possible. Um, whatever that noise is, is actually creeping me out. Oh, it's one of these fuckers again. Come here, asshole. I could take you. Woo-wee. Fucking grooves, man. Oh, shit. I really need to start remembering what key is which. Uh... Just getting some blocks to climb out of here. I really need to start remembering that that's my sprint key and not my crouch key. Okay. 12 should be enough to get out. Let's make it 13, just in case. Okay. So, 11 levels. We're also going to make an XP log. Um... I didn't know what those were, and I didn't know how to make them, but now I do, and I want one. I keep hearing that noise, it's scaring the absolute f shit out of me. Okay, let's see, what magic level can we get to? We are magic level 7, we need one more level. So, um, let's see. Let's not worry about it too much for the time being. Let's actually head... I think I'm going to head down into the mine and do another part of what I wanted to do today. Which is going to be expanding that mine and checking out where that... Uh, I believe it was a Geonach? Where that spawned and see if there's anything interesting down around that way. Uh, but I do need a pick to do that. So we're going to go back and get a pick. I got this Iron Halberd from a zombie. Uh, there, it was a rare thieving 
gravity webbing zombie. It had a bunch of prefixes. Um, oh, also, we did get another diamond from killing that uh, that strider. But and then prismarine shards, just you know, a few general items. Uh, let's go ahead and make sure we put our food in the right place. I don't want to keep mixing it up. Okay, we're going to take f our five cooked venison. Um, actually, hold on. I, th I believe I can make the summoning staff, but I don't think I can use it yet. I need a bone, I need a gold bar, and I need a an ender eye, right? Or an ender pearl. Yeah, so I, I should be able to make it, I believe. My crafting bench. Da, da, da. Yeah, summoning staff. It requires level 8 magic, which is a okay. Now, let's actually go through our spoils from last time and see what we can snatch up. I forgot about the fact that I put everything in this chest. Um, We can probably take... Let's get some armor going. Let's see. We have five diamonds. Apparently, somebody was saying that chupacabra meat is really overpowered when you cook it. So I'm going to see what it does uh, when cooked. See what kind of bonuses it gives. And then we'll consider using that. So let's see. Let's go ahead and try it out. Ba bum D Does it heal me? I think it healed me. I can't tell for sure if it did or not. Um, okay, let's make sure our inventory is relatively dumped. Put our armor on. Let's take a few building blocks with us. Nothing too insane. Like 30. Just in case we get into a little bit of a sticky situation. An iron pick. Do we have a stone pick anywhere? We do. Okay, I'd like to take probably one more pick with us. So let's actually make up another stone pick real quick here. I believe I still have sticks. Um, yes, there they are. Okay, so let's make up, we'll make up a couple. We'll, let's make a bunch of stone tools, actually. Okay, so let's make three stone picks. Let's make three stone axes. Two shovels and a sword. Actually, two swords. Okay, there we go. Now we have a bunch of extra tools. Uh, we'll go ahead and put tools down here. Sort that. Just that way we, like, you know, don't have to go back to the... Back to the good old days of using freaking uh, flint tools. Because I, I don't know about you guys, but I really don't want to be using flint tools anymore. Okay, we're going to take the Iron Halberd, just because it has more reach. Um, for if we do need to fight things. I'm assuming that Geonac or whatever is still going to be there. But in the off chance that it isn't, then we're lucky. But if it is, I do have a plan to fight it anyway. So... Uh, also, along with this, I'm going to be expanding the mine a little bit in this case, in the sense of uh, I'm going to take away one tile from the top of it, one row from the top of it, just to make it so we don't bump our heads on the way down constantly. So I'm going to just go ahead and speed this up. Oh, there's some redstone here. Let's go ahead and mine that out. It gives XP, if anything. I don't really care about the redstone itself at the moment. But it gives some XP. And we're actually right down at the bottom anyway. So this is where the Geonac was. Um, so let's go ahead and check out some redstone here. Is there anything behind here? No, not really. Wait. Are those diamonds? Hold on. Well, you know what? Let's find out. Are, are these diamonds? It is! 
They're diamonds. It's not lapis. Oh god. Okay, thank god. Not very many of them there, but still, at least we found some diamonds. Uh, that's a lot better than just finding more lapis, because, you know, I definitely wasn't happy with finding lapis. Okay, um, a mistake that I made. I didn't bring torches. I really probably should have. Um, but you know what? Here, let's... No, it's diamonds to give light, right? Yeah. Okay, we'll use the diamond as a nightlight. <laughs> to move through here. Oh, nice. Some iron. Even though it was only one block of it. I forgot that I need to crouch to pick things up, so we're gonna do that. Oh, no. There's some more iron below me. I'm just blind. Oh, wow. There's actually a lot here. Well, that kind of makes up for last episode where we lost a lot of iron or not last episode but the one before that i should be using the stone pick instead of the iron one in case we find more diamond uh we are just going to kind of be strip mining so i'm going to go ahead and time lapse some of this until we do something else and we found more diamond let's go Ooh, we found a lot more diamond. Holy crap. That was a lot more diamond. Wow. We're up to 12 diamonds. Okay, uh, in that case... We might actually want to not go too deep here. Let's go a little bit further. But I do think I'm going to want to go back at some point here soon. More diamond. Okay. Uh, Okay, yeah, we are definitely going back now. Um, I do not want to... I'm not taking a risk with all this diamond. We're just going to say that we're good for now. And we're going to head on back. Okay, cool. We successfully made it home with the diamonds. Okay, so now what we're actually going to do is we're going to pull those diamonds... And let's see, how much armor can we make? We definitely want a helmet. Can we make a body piece? Yes. We can make leggings. Okay, we just don't have diamond shoes. It's the only thing that we don't have access to. Don't need the requirements to wear this armor. Oh no. Oh no, what defense level do I need to be for diamond armor? 16? Oh, no. Okay, well, that's going to have to be a goal. Um, I forgot about defense levels and things. Oh, no. Okay, well, we'll go ahead and store that in here for now, then. And put this stuff back on. Do we have any iron? I don't think we have a lot of... I, I mean, I know we have iron here, but... I'll put the chewed meat away. Put some of that away. Okay, let's make it all the stone that we can. I don't know why I did it that way. This is probably the most inefficient way to make stone cobblestone that I could have t chosen. Um, store stuff like rocks and redstone and things of that sort in here. And let's sleep the night away. Okay, so now, now that we're magic level 8, we should be able to start using the summoning staff. Um, let's see. Where did I put all that iron? Oh, I did start smelting it. Okay. So I do want an iron helmet at the very least. Okay. 
And I think I can make iron boots, right? I should be able to with how much uh, iron I actually have access to. Yeah, I've got enough right there. Okay. So let's make a pair of iron boots because we don't currently have any boots on. And now we're kind of loaded a little bit. Okay, let's see. How do we access the bestiary? Um, uh, how do we... Oh, we should make some baubles too at some point. Backpack. Um... Okay, well, yeah, we should definitely be making some baubles at some point. Um, let's go ahead and just store up some more random knickknacks. Uh, okay, how do I access the bestiary? Let's see. Uh, it should be... It's B. Okay. Summoning. So we need to fill our summoning slots, and we have enough focus here. Let's see though, what can we summon, what can we summon, what can we summon? It's an Aegis, a Bios, Darkling, Jin, Ant, Geonac, Satiramu. Oh, those could be fun to use. Ramones, I'm not really interested in using. Reapers could be good. Do I not have more than this? Hold on. Creatures. Elementals. Tremor. Base stats, combat. Summoning cost of two. So why can't I add him as a summon then? Hmm. Well, in that case, <clears throat> maybe we'll use a an army of Jabberwock um, to fight things. So, go ahead and set them on all slots. Um, okay. So, what I wanted to test this on, actually, is I want to go to that dungeon, uh, the, the battle tower... And I want to get the other floor's worth of items. And see if we can recover our original items using an army of Jabberwocks. Um, this is probably a little bit crazy. But, you know what? I think I can make it work. I think this can happen very, very easily. Uh, if I just try hard enough. As long as I'm very careful when I venture into here, I think I'll be okay. So, keep an eye out for spiders, obviously. And what we're going to do is we're going to go up to the top, I believe. That's what I think I want to do. Or actually, maybe I won't have to. Maybe I can summon them there. wild, my Jabberwocks. Let's charge up a few more. Some in. What the heck? Why was I still getting hurt there? So a lot of is this the chest that I dumped everything into, or is this just a chest that exists? I don't know, but there's bandages, so that's really nice. Oh no, where'd my summoning? Okay, <laughs> I was wondering where my summon staff was gonna be. Okay, Jabber walks on to the next floor. I want to close that up. Why are they not attacking anything? 
Oh, I have them on defensive. There we go. What the heck? Yeah, that's right, boys. Get him. Get him, boys. Got an iron throwing axe. What the heck is hitting me? Okay, I don't know what the hell was hitting me there. That didn't... That wasn't fair. Ugh. I still got my army there, though, so... They should be able to handle it pretty well. Uh, I'm not too upset about that, honestly. This is a trial. I wasn't really sure what was going to happen. So, let's just go back. And we'll just... You know, we'll just try again. It's not that big of a deal. Okay, now, are they up above or down below? They're down below. Okay, so that hole goes straight. Okay, so I do still have Jabberwocks alive. That's all that matters. Now, the only question is, is where are they? And is there going to be any way that I retrieve my stuff safely? I think I can. Uh, I just need the summoning staff back, really. I'm going to try a different enemy. The Jabberwocks don't seem to really be doing a whole lot of work. So let's see about spawning something different. Hopefully my summoning staff is at the bottom of these stairs and not too far away. Uh, baby zombie. Yeah, you're a jackass. Get the fuck back down there. How the hell was that thing hurting my head? He can't even fucking reach my head. Oh, hey. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna go and get, uh, we're gonna go back and we're gonna get us new summoning staff. I do still have the materials at home. Okay, we're also gonna change the summon that we're using. Uh, let's try out Satira Maze. It is getting dark, too. Maybe we should sleep first. Yeah, let's go sleep first. Because I don't want to get out of there and then be stuck on the way home. I also should probably grab some food. Okay, so yeah, we're going to sleep first. And then we'll actually we'll test out the uh, city remove things. I don't want to step into the water just in case. All right, go to sleep. And then it's time to go back to the dungeon. Let's get some food here. Uh, some cooped choopy meat. Let's see what happens. Oh, wow. That's actually pretty good food source. 
Okay, let's unleash some scorpions on this zombie. One, two, three, four, five. Let's just unleash them. See what they do. Guys. Why are they not attacking anything? Okay, well those are going to be useless then. Try the Agus. See if the Agus will attack anything. Oh, yeah, sure as hell they will. They don't do a whole lot of damage, but you know what? It's better than what I've been dealing with. That drops some prismarine crystal. Whatever that does. Okay, so we teleported over here. Now let's go ahead and send a couple I guess down there. already hear some of the other ones attacking things. They should take out that spider. Yep. What are they going after? Oh, they're going after a strider. That's not what I want you guys to go after. I want you to go down and go after that skeleton. Oh, shit. Nope. Nope. Okay, I messed up there. That's okay. I do still have the materials for at least one more. Uh, oh, no, I threw the ender eyes. Shit. I don't, do I? Uh-oh. I might have messed up really bad there. Shitty deal. Um, though, we could be lucky and my Igus could still be in there and they could be killing things. Igus, Aegis, Agus. How do you guys pronounce it? I just say Igus, but. What the heck? How did my sword get dropped? Okay. So what do you guys think I should do? I think I should probably... Like, I kind of have to keep going for this stuff, right? This next floor isn't dangerous. Okay, it's just got one spider. Yeah. It reflected hunger. I do have another one coming, though. I still have hunger inflicted. Oh boy. Look at that cobweb. We got the halberd. You asshole. Go away. Give me my shit back while you're at it. Okay, okay. I, I'm starting to feel this. I can make this happen. 